What's up YouTube? This is Canadian Bacon bringing you my first tutorial. Um, today we are going to learn how to make a cobblestone factory aka a way to get unlimited cobblestone. So I've already built one right here but I'm going to be building a fresh one right there uh, going step by step so you'll be able to see exactly how to put one of these bad boys together for yourself. So just a little demonstration of what, what I'm talking about here. Um, you'll be able to mine cobblestone like this and have it regenerate right in front of your eyes. So you can stand here without having to mine and just keep mining. Now the cobblestone will fall into the water and there's actually a current there that'll pull the cobblestone towards you. So without further ado, let's get this going. I want to keep this as short as possible. So the first thing you're going to need to do, actually let's talk about what we need first. You're going to need two buckets of lava four buckets of water and 64 sorry not 64 you're going to need 80 um, blocks of dirt okay so I've already done the first step first step is to construct a 8 by 5 wall so you're going to have 8 bricks on the bottom 8 blocks rather and 5 up top okay just a note you don't have to do this with dirt you can do this with anything that isn't flammable whatever looks good in your house or wherever you're going to build it. In my fort I personally have one made of obsidian. Okay, so once you've built your wall the next stage is to build a foundation sort of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to place four blocks from here. One, two, three, four. We're going to go diagonal. One, two, three, four. And diagonal again. One, two, three, four. So now we've created this little thing here. Okay. We're going to place two blocks in the corner, like that. Okay, so now we have our basin. Next thing, we're going to go to the very top block. We're going to place one block here, leave one. One block, you're going to leave two. One block, leave one, one block. Okay, so that's next. Next part, we're going to, underneath this, we're going to build three blocks like this, creating a little U, and creating another little U over here. Okay, so those are our two U's. Next, what we're going to do, just looking at my map here, we are going to put two blocks under like this, two blocks under like that. Next part is going to get a little bit tricky, so pay attention. You're going to bring three out from here, and three out from here. And on the inside, you're going to build one and one. Okay? Now what you can do, what you can do if you want to save blocks you can punch this one out, you can punch that one out, because they're not all that necessary. Same thing on this side, I'm going to punch that one out, and I'm going to punch that one out. Okay, so saving four blocks, if, uh, if you're using obsidian or something, it's somewhat helpful. So, now that we've done that, our next order of business, I guess you could say, um, is we're going to build from here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to go one out and back over here, one out. Okay? Now you should be done. Okay? That should be 80 blocks. If, you, uh, if you're still confused about it, go back and pause and pause where I've built it and you can look back at it. So that's our structure made of dirt or whatever else we want to use. Next part is to put the water and lava in. So what I like to do first is in this little area here, we're going to put a water right there. We're also going to put a water right there. And what that does is it creates a current coming this way so that when we're standing here, the blocks that fall will come right to us. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put a water in that gap right there. And we're also going to put a water in that gap there. Okay, so now we have this. Last but not least, we're going to put our lava right there and right there. So one bucket goes there, the other bucket goes right there. So as you can see, cobblestone's formed already. And I don't have a pick on me, but just as I demonstrated at the beginning, as soon as you mine it, it will regenerate. Now, those of you who are wondering the science of this, um, basically, 
the combination of lava and water create two different possibilities. It can either create obsidian or it can create cobblestone. Obsidian is created when flowing water touches a lava spawn. So what I mean by a lava spawn is a, is a lava block. So not the flowing lava. That's important to know. It's not the flowing lava. It's the original block, the spawn, the, the spawn block where the lava comes from. So if flowing water touches that, it'll turn into obsidian. But if flowing water comes in, into, sorry, comes in contact with flowing lava, it'll create cobblestone. So and that's what we've done here. We've created a flow of water from both sides and a flow of lava. And that's what creates the cobblestone. So for those of you wanting to experiment for yourself, uh, kind of work with different designs, maybe if you want to save some blocks, I'm sure there are more efficient ways of doing this. But um, that is what I've come up with, and that's the one I'm using, and I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you liked it, you can favor it, uh, like it, subscribe. I should be putting out some more tutorials later. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some, uh, some tutorials and some more videos of my base so far and uh, you should see two Minecraft videos already up there, one of my base not too too long ago and one of the mine that I have and like I said more videos will be coming out later I hope you like the video and thanks for watching, bye